Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to social study class. This is a book of environmental studies looking around grade 4. So let's begin chapter 27 part 2. The name of this chapter is Chuskit Goes to School. All the day, Chuskit used to sit near the window and draw pictures. Her mother, Amale, said that Chuskit made the best drawings. This made Chuskit very happy. And while sitting near the window, Chuskit kept on watching the children, those who were going to the school. But unfortunately, she was not able to go to school due to her disability. At first, Chuskit did not know that she was different from other children. But slowly, she found that she could not do the things that other children could. It was because of her legs. Since birth, Chuskit could not use her leg. Page number 212. So children, Please open your book. We will have a reading of this page 212. So let's start the reading. Chuskit's chair. All day, Chuskit used to sit near the window and draw pictures. Her mother, Amale, and that Chuskit made the best drawings. This made Chuskit happy. But Chuskit was Happier when one day her father, Abale, got a chair which had wheels. She quickly learned how to sit in the chair and how to move it back and forth. Justit was so happy because now she did not need her father to carry her everywhere. When she wanted to go out, she would tell her mother, to put her in the wheel chair. Now she could come outside on her own. Chuskit would see the other children very morning. They would be laughing and playing on their way to school. She wished that she could also go with them. So children, you have read in this page that Chuskit used to sit near the window and draw the pictures. And she felt very happy after making the drawings. But one day when her father, a ballet, brought a chair which had wheels. It means wheelchair. She quickly learned how to sit in the chair and how to move it back and forth. So now, she was not dependent on, his, on her father to carry her everywhere. Now, whenever she had to go out, she would tell her mother to put her in the wheelchair. Now, she could come out on her own. Now, Chuskit could see other children every morning. They would be laughing, playing on their way to school. And Chuskit wished that she could also go with them. It was her great dream that she wanted to go to school like other children. This is a picture of Abdul who is Chuskit's friend. Abdul was a very good boy. He helped Chuskit to go to school. But how? Let's see in the page number 213. First of all, we will have the reading of this page. One day, Abdul came to her house with a letter. When he saw Chuskit, he asked her why she did not go to school. Chuskit told him sadly, I cannot walk. A ballet cannot carry me all the way to school every day. I cannot even wheel my chair as the road to school is not level. How can I cross the river? Abdul asked. But 
would you want to go to school if you could justit was excited she said of course i want to go to school just like all of you i want to study and play her memele memele grandfather stopped her and said justit do not dream you know that this is not possible so let's have an explanation of this page one day justit's friend abdul came to her house with a letter in his hand and he saw that justit did not go to school he asked justit what is the reason then very sadly justit replied that she cannot walk and abale cannot carry her all the way to school every day moreover the road is not leveled and there was a river so it was not possible to cross the uneven road and river so in this way though she had wheelchair she could sit and she could uh, move the wheelchair but due to the uneven road and due to the river she could not cross the river then abdul asked him uh, asked to skit that if she is willing to go to school it is possible that she could join the school after listening this sentence to skit was so excited and happy she said anxiously that is it possible that i could also go to school i could also play like you you like other children then memele the grandfather of chuskit snubbed her stopped her and said chuskit no need to dream it is very difficult to go to school so she became very sad so children page number 213 have been completed along with the explanation so read page number 212 and 213 and keep watching this video part 2 so keep watching the video for the impactful study effective study so wait for the next video part 3 thank you so much